Hello and welcome. In this video lesson, I will present the Options General dialog in CATIA. The Options dialog controls a tremendous number of settings and preferences. This section covers only the general options, which you can access using the list on the left side of the dialog. The tabs at the top of the dialog let you view different options under each category. The General tab contains some options you might need to change occasionally. User Interface Style controls whether CATIA uses the simpler P1 interface or the standard P2 interface. The P3 interface is only available if you have that platform. Automatic Backup makes a backup copy of your documents every few minutes, as specified by the neighboring list. This is only used to recover from a system crash. Automatic disconnection kicks you out of CATIA if you are idle for the time specified, in an effort to keep licenses free. Unfortunately, in its zeal to push you out the door, CATIA does not stop to see if you want to save your documents first. Do not use this option, unless you like that sinking feeling you get when you lose an hour's worth of work. Load reference documents controls whether child documents load when you load the parent. For example, the part files in an assembly document. Deactivating this causes large assemblies to open much more quickly, and you can still manually load the components you need. Conference driver is used to run conferencing sessions if you installed a license for a DMU navigator product. The enable option under drag and drop controls whether you can drag and drop features in the graphics window and in the specification tree. If you find yourself accidentally dragging features around, you might want to deactivate this option. Otherwise, leave it active, because it can be a useful feature. Memory warning is used to help save your data before a crash occurs due to excessive memory use. The next tab in this dialog is the Help tab. This tab denotes the location of the help files. Use the browse icon to navigate and identify the appropriate folder. Your system administrator can also set these for you. Shareable products tab. This tab allows you to reserve certain CATIA products based on the licenses available within your company. Licensing tab. These options let you reserve licenses organized by configuration so that you can use different products. Document tab. The document tab lets you choose the way in which you access your documents. You set up document environments, which can be folder or DL name. Using the folder environment, you explore the file tree to read and save your documents anywhere you like and without restriction. Using the DL name environment, you can determine that your documents will be read from or saved in specific directories only. You then assign a logical name, referred to as DL name, to each directory. In this mode, the different file opening and saving commands only allow you to access documents in directories referenced by DL names. Macros tab. These options let you control which Visual Basic script editor is invoked when you edit a macro within CATIA using tools macro. You can also define references to external application projects that you want accessible from your scripts. PCS tab. The stack size option controls the number of undo operations you have available. Decreasing the number can free up some computer resources, but the effect is usually minimal. Undo setting is inversely proportional to the proficiency of user. Printer tab. This tab is sometimes used by the system administrator when installing certain printers. Generally, plotters are installed for detailed drawing printouts. Next we have the search tab. This tab helps us to search with respect to the power input. We can select default prefix for search and also the search scope for power input. Display of results can also be adjusted as required. Finally, we have the Statistics tab. This lets you keep a log of all your activity in CATIA. 
you would rarely want or need to do this. I will stop at this point. In the next video, I will explain the options display dialog. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.